Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review this Clearstream Juice preamplifier, or preamp for short. It runs about $80 on Amazon and can help improve your over the air TV reception by adding gain up at the antenna to make up for signal loss in a very long coaxial cable. How well does it work? You'll find out in this video. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. My YouTube channel is dedicated to the cord cutting antenna community, and I'm constantly posting new videos with reception tips, antenna reviews, amplifier reviews, and updates on ATSC 3.0, the new over the air TV standard that's launching in the United States. Now I first need to explain how preamps work. They usually come in two parts. The amplifier portion goes up at the antenna and then the power inserter will supply power through the coaxial cable so you don't have to run a power cord to where your antenna is at. In many situations, a preamp can improve your TV reception because there is a small amount of signal loss and every foot a coax cable is run. In some situations, a small amount of signal loss doesn't matter if your signals are strong. But if you have very weak signals, there's a good chance you may be losing some channels in a long cable run. What exactly is a long cable run? It really depends on many factors, including what kind of antenna you're using and whether you're using a good quality cable or a cheap cable. A cheap RG59 or junk cable that comes with a junk antenna is going to have more signal loss in a long run than a quality RG6 or RG11 cable. I should also mention if you have an antenna that already has a built-in amplifier, like this piece of junk, you can add another amplifier onto it or it likely won't power the internal amplifier and you'll lose all reception together. You see this? This is why I don't recommend this piece of junk. We'll see if we can lose some more elements. So just to reiterate, Preamps like this model go up at the antenna, are powered with a power inserter like this, and make up for signal loss in a long coaxial cable, which again, the definition of a long cable varies depending on many factors. I'm actually in the situation where I need a preamp at my house. I currently have an antenna set up in my attic while I wait to replace my roof and put a new mast up to test out outdoor antennas. If I connect the antenna to a small TV set, I'm able to pick up all the major stations, but after I ran a 40-foot cable, I could no longer pick up ABC, CBS, or Fox. Adding certain preamps brought these stations back. Will this preamp be able to complete the task? If you end up deciding to purchase this preamp, use one of the affiliate links in the pinned comment or in the description of my video to help support my YouTube channel. First, I'm going to show you how to properly connect this preamp for those of you who are watching this video for instructional purposes. This is the main preamp that goes up on the mast of your outdoor or attic antenna. If you look at the bottom of the preamp, there are two cable inputs. The one on the left side labeled in is where you connect your antenna to. For best results, use a short three to six foot coax cable. The port on the right side labeled output is where you want to connect the long cable you have going from your antenna to the inside of your home. The other end of the long cable gets connected to the include power inserter. This should go before your TV set or any splitters if you are connecting multiple TV sets. Here's the signal on the one CBS station in my area before adding the preamp. It broadcasts on UHF channel 30. The signal is very unstable and bouncing around anywhere between 20 to 40%. When I add the juice preamp, the signal shot up by about 20% with no breakup in the picture. Cheaper preamps I tested within the same hour did show signs of breakup on this channel. Here's the signal on the one ABC station in my area before adding the preamp. The station broadcasts on RF channel 21. It's also bouncing around between 30 to 47% and only showing a jumbled mess of pixels. When I add the juice preamp, the signal also increased by about 20% and no longer had any breakup in the picture. 
Here's the signal on the one Fox station in my area before adding the preamp. There really isn't much to it, just one frozen frame. When I add the juice preamp, the signal increased by about 30% with no breakup in the picture. Out of the nearly 10 preamps I tried out, only a few of them were able to bring back my ABC, CBS, and Fox channels reliably. The Clearstream Juice was one of them. This is definitely one of the better preamps out there. While there are some cheaper models out there which you can find in my other videos, I don't think it's a good idea to bargain hunt when it comes to setting up an antenna and amplifier. I never understood why people will easily pay hundreds of dollars a month for cable TV yet complain that an $80 antenna or preamp is too expensive. Please don't bargain hunt with antennas and accessories or you may end up spending more on junk equipment that doesn't work or not have reliable reception. If you end up deciding to purchase this preamp, use one of the affiliate links in the pinned comment or in the description of my video to help support my YouTube channel. While this Clearstream preamp did make a difference in my situation, understand that preamps won't solve reception problems for everyone, especially if the antenna is a problem. I can't tell you how many times I see comments and reviews of people going, oh, I got this great HD antenna and add this booster, but the booster didn't work. I got a good antenna, there's something wrong with the booster. An amplifier is not going to help if you don't have the correct antenna for your area. Different areas require different antennas for different frequencies and different sized antennas, whether the signals are strong, fair, or weak. Feel free to use my YouTube channel as a resource. I have dozens of indoor and outdoor antenna reviews. I also offer custom antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. There I'll go through your unique reception situation, take a look at the frequencies, signal strength, and even if there's any mountains or other obstruction in the way, to provide the best antenna recommendation for you based on my experience testing out nearly 50 antenna models and installing them in four TV markets. Whether you decide to purchase this preamp or go with another model, make sure that it is properly grounded with your antenna if it's outside to prevent static buildup, which can attract a lightning strike or make the preamp fail in a short period of time. I have a video on this topic attached in the description of this video. Thanks for watching this YouTube video. A huge thanks to Bruce, Jeff, Spencer, Bernard, John, and everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If you would like to help support these valuable cord cutting videos while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description of this video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related information and have an awesome day.